Hello guys, you're welcome to Feli Lifei channel and your girl Feli from Uganda. How have you been during this COVID-19 pandemic crisis? I know most of us have not been good. Life, life has changed. A lot of things have changed. We are not doing things the way we used to do them back then. But I want to encourage you in this video today. That there is a different way, a positive way on how to handle this situation. And after this crisis, we will come out as victors. The worldwide outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic is a basis of unexpected stress and hardships or difficulties for so many people. Resilience can help us get through and overcome difficulties, but resilience is not something we are born with. It is built over time as experiences we have interacted with our unique individual genetic males. That is why we all respond to stress and hardships like that from the COVID-19 pandemic crisis differently. For instance, you find that some people have been bedridden because of COVID-19. Others have gotten sick, but the virus didn't uh, put them down. They remained strong, they took medicine, and they got healed. Others have lost jobs, lost loved ones. May their souls rest in eternal peace. Others no longer feed their family like the way they used to feed them. They no longer go for outings. They are stuck in their homes or stuck in one area together. With this channel, with me, Feli, we are going to overcome. And I've come to discuss with you on how to build resilience during the COVID-19 situation. How to handle this crisis positively. How are you going to become a victor at the end of the day? Number one, build your connections. We all need a support system in life, not just in crisis. We need a network of people who are empathetic and compassionate about us. People who will be there for you when you feel lonely, when you're facing difficulties in life. People who will talk to you. Involve yourself in your age group, where you feel comfortable. Different age groups feel comfortable dealing with different issues. So wherever you feel comfortable, just feel free and involve yourself in such kind of groups so that you don't think about this kind of stress. Number two, learn or copy skills. We all need to learn or copy a skill so to go through this crisis or any other future crisis that you might face. For instance, do exercises, take walks, hikes. I'm talking about the natural stress relievers. Breathe in and out when you feel like uh, this situation has gotten you unexpectedly. You've not planned for it and you're facing a panic attack. Breathe in and out. You can adjust your thought process. It is not that easy to maintain an optimistic outlook, especially when the future looks uncertain. That is, you don't see where you, you're heading in life because you're facing obstacles that are hindering you from getting to where you want to go. go or from reaching the goals that you've set. When you feel flooded with negative thoughts, own them. Accept them, that they are there, that you're facing them. When you say your thoughts out loud and talk through them, they lose their power over your mind. You start thinking positively and coming up with solutions. And this is the only way how you're going to handle the COVID-19 crisis. Number four, focus on the physical wellness. Stress can weaken your immunity system more and you will be more prone to illnesses. This can easily affect you emotionally. Through adopting to this mechanism, you will be able to prioritize your sleep like you have enough sleep. You'll be able to maintain your hydration, like drinking enough water for your body, eating healthily. I know there are people when they face a, a crisis, they tend to eating uh, poorly. You find them eating, uh, wanting to eat fast foods. I don't know. Others tend to eat a lot. Others, others tend not to eat. Please, my brother and sister, eat healthily. And eating healthily doesn't mean that you have to be rich to eat healthily, no? There are foods that you can afford, that are on the market, that are they, that rich in proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, name it. In conclusion, do not push yourself so hard to adopt to this mechanism, resilience. Take your time. Slowly by slowly, you are going to be able to learn how to overcome the COVID-19 crisis and the future hardships. Comment down below your comments. What do you think about this topic? If it has helped you, please comment down below. I will feel good when I impact 
someone's life because that is what I want impact people the youths please comment like and subscribe share this video to your friends and family stay tuned I love you stay safe